Hi everyone, it's Helen here from Simply Made Crafts. Thank you so much for joining me for the launch of my new collection, Bohemian Days. Now I have it here and it is really, really colourful. So I think it's one of my most colourful collections to date so far. So we've got stamp sets, ephemera, brand new papers and the smaller version of the presentation box. Now the large one sold out pretty much straight away. So this one is the smaller version and it holds the small album, which is what this collection is based around. So here is the small album die set, just to get that out of the way, that will create this beautiful small album and that will fit inside the small presentation box. So let's start off the die here for the presentation box. Here we go. This is the smaller version of the large one. So if you have the large one, yeah, you're going to absolutely love the small one. And if you missed out on the large one, the small one is just as great. It's the same die set. It's shrunk down to fit the small album. And if you use all of the sides to make a big square one, it will fit the medium album inside there too. So that is the presentation box. Now Vicky has made some beautiful samples here using the box. She's gone for a shadow box. Isn't that beautiful? A little bit of home decor there. She's put beading in there as well. I'm trying not to get the lights. <laughs> so that is absolutely stunning. Now, Vicky, she will have um, tutorials for all of these available as well. So inside the mini album, we have some die sets that are kinetic and that are going to fit in there and work beautifully with the small album pages. But, those, but these die sets will also work in the medium and the large so we'll start off with the small album pop-up frame so let's open this up and this is what it looks like open it up just like that it goes 3d and you can use the die that comes with that to actually cut your photograph straight out using the die so there's no trying to guess sizing or get it in the right place you can use that straight on your photos to get that in the right place and i have another one here as well there we go and we also have a card that I have made with that and I'll be getting to this card in a moment. And then the second kinetic die set we have is the small album photo peekaboo die set. So let's go to that one. I've popped that one in here as well. So we have this pull tab here and we pull that out and it's got the peekaboo photo mats there again this comes with the photo mats it comes with everything there to make this beautiful die set and use these mats here to cut out your photos completely again like with the circles and then they will fit on these mats and inside there so uh, i have another one here there we go and you can also use these with your card making so i said i'd come back to this one here we go you're getting a sneak peek of all, all the uh, you're getting a sneak peek of all the lovely papers here too so we have this pop-up element here and then we have a pull thing here pull that out and we have a gift card on this side so i wouldn't put anything on here i would try and keep it as flat as possible because that has to tuck in right into the bottom layer so when you pop that back in it just pops back out again it's absolutely fun to use and that is a card and there is a tutorial for this on the craft stash youtube channel okay and next up we have the small album pocket page i love this one i worked out i needed so many different sizes and variations for all the different configurations of this mini album and um, the binding as it takes up so, uh, space inside the pocket meant that um, i had to literally just decide on the two sizes so these are the two sizes i chose so the one on the side here the one with the tab on the right hand side was designed for the small album to be um, to have its pockets opening on the side so that this slides out just like so you open that up and you can pop ephemera in there loose ticket stubs and lovely things like that and this opens and closes it's absolutely lovely and you can even just have it as a single item you don't have to do something that opens and closes now this one here was designed for the album to go on its side just like so and have the pocket page opening at the side which is slightly different from it being this way around and having the pockets at the top so this one was designed to be slightly shorter because the binding takes up space inside the pocket for it to slide in and out but don't worry on my simply made crafts channel i'll be showing you how to make that particular album step by step but if you do want to um if you do want to have 
your album in a portrait land, a portrait orientation and have this at the top, you can actually do that by trimming it down slightly. Now, Vicky has actually done this. If you see, she has trimmed that down to fit inside just there. You just lose a little bit off the edge there, or you can trim a bit off there and re-round the corners. That will actually work. But I did have to settle for the two sizes for that one because there are so many different variations to choose from. And you can even pop them inside the pockets that come with the mini album as well. And then last but not least, we have all the lovely decorative items here. We have the ephemera and on the back there, there's a big key there so you can see what's in the pack, which I find really useful. And we have the stamp set here. This is absolutely beautiful when it's used against the teal uh, uh, papers that you get in the 12 by 12 papers. I absolutely love that. And here are the Bohemian Days papers here. Love this. So it's 24 single sided sheets, 250 GSM and there's plenty in there for you to get creative with making your mini albums. OK, so over the next few days, make sure you are um, subscribed to the Simply Made Crafts YouTube channel where all of these tutorials will be released day after day after day and there'll be lots and lots of project inspiration and I really cannot wait to start making some Christmas versions of these items as well so make sure you're subscribed to the Simply Made Crafts YouTube channel so if you like this lovely collection give me a thumbs up let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item is and I'll see you all again soon